Hey guys, it's Matt. Welcome to Speed Tutor, and today we're going to be looking at a free parkour system which you can find on GitHub, which includes things like vaulting, box jumping, jumping along ledges, sliding, climbing obstacles, and doing sort of shimmying across ledges. It uses a new input system and it uses Cinemachine to control the camera, and you can even change the character to a lot of their Mixamo style characters. Now, if you want to get started, you can download the Parkour System version 1.01 on the GitHub page, where you can click the drop down and download the zipped folder. Once you have that, I recommend to copy the dynamic Parkour System from the actual asset which you downloaded, and then drag that straight into Unity. And if you like tutorials and videos like this, do be sure to throw a like on this video and check out my Patreon too to support the channel and get access to over 200 different scripts, assets, and projects you cannot find anywhere else. You will get some errors on the console just pertaining to things that you need to fix, but I'll just quickly go through those on what you need to fix first. So you need to go to the package manager and you need to go to built in and you need to search for input so you need to install the input system and you also need to install cinemachine which you can just type in cine for that and make sure it's installed you need to make sure they add some tags and layers to this so what you can actually do to do that is you can go and select any object in your game whether it's just the basic default scene go to the top and you need to make sure that you have a tag of pull reach vault slide and deep jump and these can be in any order and you can see you can just add the plus to add them pull reach vault slide and deep jump and then you want to add some layers but we can add the layers by dropping down the layers add layers make sure you add these layers to these layers if you can which will be layer 8 will be ledge layer 9 will be wall and layer 10 will be player then you need to make sure that the input system is working. Unity may ask you to restart. When you do install it, you can go to project settings. Then you can go to player and then scroll down to active input handling and make sure it's either on both or new to use this package. And then also go to the physics section of project settings and make sure the ledge between ledge and player is actually unticked for the physics. And then what you want to actually be able to do is check on all the prefabs to see if they're set up. You can check the documentation for the exact setup. If you set the layers and the tags up, your ledge will have a tag of nothing and it will have a layer of edge. The wall will have a, no a tag of nothing and be wall. The vault objects, box, obstacle, and slide will all have tags automatically set up. And I'll just show you here in the documentation, it has them all set up. And if you want to use a different character controller, you can look at the way it's set up in the documentation. So now if we open up the demo scene, which is called testing, you'll be able to see that there's a player controller, main camera, free look camera, slide camera, and a player model, which has the Erica character, which is from Mixamo's character sets. So you could add a different one if you wanted, as long as you make sure that you switch the player avatar from which you will use. And I do have a video on using third person or other third person controllers in other packages, which might help you out. It's got a rigid body, it's got some capsule colliders, it's got the input for the character, third person controller, movement so you can adjust the jog speed, run speed and the fall force and any IKs to make sure the feet are on the ground, the vaulting controller, the detection for the character to detect layers and how far you want the detection to happen and the climbing settings to be able to work out the length and the interactions for the inverse kinematics and when you press play on the game you can control the camera i've just turned the sensitivity down slightly you can use w to move forward s to move back and then the a and d keys to move left and right you can hold shift to sprint and then space to jump at specific obstacles and you can even hold c to slide like so and when you come up to obstacles you can press space and you will hop up or climb up as you need to or you can still climb up on higher ledges. You can actually choose space and you will almost lock on to specific obstacles that you want to jump between. And you can latch on to specific ledges and jump between them in obstacle that's sort of classic to Assassin's Creed or something like that. And then when you jump onto a specific ledge, which allows you to hang or dangle, you can do a shimmying mechanic. And when you're on a wall where the legs will grip, you can put them back on and you can shimmy around longer obstacles or corners to be able to do this too. You can even jump onto smaller poles 
and do whatever as long as they have the tags and things that you want to use and you can control sort of jump height speed and make it as realistic or as different as one but i think this is a good base to any sort of parkour system to get yourself started with some of the mechanics that are used in this type of game it would be beneficial to make this slightly smoother and more practical in terms of the speed to make it more fluid overall but i think it's a great start do comment down below if you like this asset and i'll be sure to show you more great ones that i found but hopefully you find it useful check it out on github from the great developer that's on there do be sure to check out my patreon to get over 200 different scripts assets and projects you cannot find anywhere else check out all the sales savings and everything you can find in game dev and they'll all be down in the description and also check out my website to get between 20 and 30 percent off compared to what you'll pay on the unity asset store for my assets and my thank you to all my amazing patrons and everybody else who comes to watch the video so thank you so much for watching don't forget to like comment and subscribe cheers